Okay, so let's go work on the uh, material. And first I will work for this stem material. The one thing, if I do, I notice right here a little bit breakout and the normal, we can go inside the influence where we create for the stem. We'll go to primitive and we'll just need switch to the, the curve. And the curve will help us a little bit to smooth out some of those that we created. Okay, so we can kind of positioning. There you go. So mostly for the organic, you probably want to use the smooth curves when you create it again. They just fix this thing, um, kind of break in line, doesn't look natural. Okay, so right here we look on materials and you notice we have different materials. We have a, the segment, we have a displacement, cap and other ones. And they will inherit from parents. So, okay, so I want to apply some of the um, displacement to make those lines going. We'll do this working in a Photoshop. You can use any different application if you want it. And we'll just go create new and let's go to we'll go create maybe um because it's kind of long so 300 by 1000 will be okay for now um i want to just create those straight lines kind of going to do this we'll go um just fill up with anything doesn't matter we'll go filter and render and let's go create the um, clouds Next, I want to filter noise and we'll go add noise chromatic. We'll pop up just quite a bit. The reason why we're using clouds, you can see right here we have some patches. That's what I want to go. Okay, next we'll go filter, blur, and let's go set motion blur. You can see we kind of just set. Maybe even longer like this okay let's go create new layer and this new layer I'm pressing shift backspace or you can go to edit fill and we fill up with 50% gray so this is our neutral level if we use it for displacement it doesn't go up and down black we'll press in and white will press out when we used in a view so we'll go right here and by the blending, we can kind of blend in. And you notice we have it a little bit on top and on the bottom. So this is kind of what I want to keep it. If you want to create a little bit more smoother, you always can uh, shift it and apply another blur. Example, um, filter. We'll go to other, offset. And right here on offset, we can kind of bring this Maybe right on middle filter blur and another motion blur so right here you can see we can kind of integrate them a little bit better together make smoother but again go back here and um, we can apply what string of this I don't want to have it too much but just to blend it, maybe about this will be good. This will be our displacement. Um, next, I'm going and just save uncompressed JPEG. You can do any other format, and I'm going to save this one. Okay, so same things we can actually can create with uh, our stem color. So we can press Control Shift E. Okay, and next, so for this layer, now we merge them together. We can go image, adjust. We can go Q coloration, click on colorization, enable. And we can go a little bit maybe to colorize. The plant. So right here, just add a little bit colors. And on this case, when we save this, this can be our overall general color for um, 
plan. So let's go here. Then color. Also, you notice I have a different petals already done, and those ones are actually easy to do, and you can create um, as many different colors you like it. Actually, you know what? Let's make smaller. We don't need that high. So and with them, you just take a different color. For example, I know they kind of like some case almost purplish pink color. Have a brush and you can kind of painting over petal. Think about this. This is the middle of the petal, it's going this way, so we'll just select um, edges a little bit, select different colors, okay, let's reduce brush, okay, maybe set one opacity, just like this, so this is just a, a, how we can create different petals colors and you can look online for there you go so here's another panel we created we can go file again save for web as max save when we can create as a panel one example okay so let's go back to our plant and right now I'm going to material We'll go open material editor and right here I'm switching to mapped picture so we can go ahead and preload it. Okay, we'll go select color that we just applied. Okay and I don't want to add any um, bitmap yet but highlights we can pop up a little bit doing a bright color and you know what let's switch them to um, kind of yellowish green so th the highlights will give it us a little bit look on this okay a little bit more that way effect okay let's go next segment body displacement this is where I want to kind of look a little bit more on effect so we'll go open image okay right here we have stem displacement click OK and you can see we have a displacement applied we can increase amount of this displacement Overall, I don't want too heavy effect. I just want to have this kind of nicer. Um, there you go, a little bit stronger. So it's have it almost like veins going inside. Okay, well, let's pop up a little bit high resolution. Let's take a little bit re-rendering time, so I can preview and. Right here we have a nice displacement applied. You can see um, if it's a little bit too strong, maybe we can reduce. Or I think it's actually working very well at this point. Remember, if we apply this material to like tentacles, so let me enable and it's take a little bit to render because I'm on higher polygon count. Okay, let's take a few seconds. And this will apply to the tentacles as well, this material. Okay, you can see. Okay, except let's go on material. And you notice it does not apply, however, the um, displacement. So we want add probably displacement separate to this. Even other materials is there. And you know what, let's go to just drop down some resolution temporary. Okay, I'm going to load my displacement. And I'll go bring not as much 
as before so bring a little bit in and we can pop up a resolution so we can preview how this will affect on the tentacles as well okay take a second right here so we have it effect can bring maybe just leave it up okay and it's look nice some um, probably just leave it like this right now um, of course the more tweaking with materials need be and it's I'm working on the um, set of tutorials just the materials with the plant factory going over the material editor and other options but overall right here this is good beginning um, let's go hide them right now and the next step it's actually work on the leaf so leaf will be a little bit different okay let me drop down the resolution okay so leaf will be a little bit different because this one I want left like a parent but the petals we need rework slide okay so right here I have it my leaf and what I did I gone to the internet and you can go to the web and search for free leaves that you can use it people scan and you can find different one this is not necessary from the bean but I like the texture and I'm going to modify and reuse this and uh, extract so we'll do this in the next tutorial